Welcome or welcome back to Barrio Tales. Today's video will be about the rivalry between two gangs. The two gangs involved is the Indiana Street Dukes gang and the Laguna Park Vikings. Indiana Street Dukes claim territory around East Olympic Boulevard and Indiana Street between Los Palos and South Dittman Avenue, south of the Santa Ana Freeway in East Los Angeles. Gang attire for the Indiana Street Dukes happens to be the Duke Blue Devils from Duke University. The rival Laguna Park Vikings derive their name from the park in their neighborhood. On May 17, 2007, Alfredo Freddy Morales, known as Osito, was shopping with his girlfriend and their child at a Food for Less grocery store. Two Laguna Park Vikings gang members began pressing Alfredo, asking where he was from. Alfredo basically called out the fact the pair of Laguna Park Vikings were banging on him in front of his family. Surprisingly, the pair apologized, but Alfredo said it was too late. As the confrontation escalated, the pair of Laguna Park Vikings gang members, everyone, poured out and flashed knives to each other. When Alfredo got done shopping, he encountered the pair of Laguna Park Vikings again and got into a physical altercation with them. He punched one of them in the face and then was shot and killed by the other Laguna Park Viking. The killing of Indiana Street Duke's gang member Alfredo Morales would spark back-to-back -back multiple gang-related shootings. On the evening of February 24, 2013, Kimberly Leva and her three friends went to Sam's Hofbray, a strip club in Los Angeles. They met Deanna Brabiska and Martin Dominguez, often referred to by his peers as Marty. Leva and one friend left the club at 1.50 a.m. and played music in their car. Their other friends joined them shortly thereafter. About 10 minutes later, Brabiska and Dominguez arrived. Leva and her friends played music and danced near and on the car while Berbiska and Dominguez talked to each other. A man named Ralph Lopez arrived and walked past Leva and her friends toward Dominguez. He tapped Dominguez on the elbow and they walked away together. When they stopped, Leva noticed Dominguez appeared angry. Both Dominguez and Lopez took a step back and Lopez shot Dominguez in the neck, killing him. He then shot at Leva and the others as he ran away. He jumped into the back seat of a truck parked nearby. Fearing he would return, Leva and her friends drove to a gas station two blocks away and called the police. When they returned to the scene, five to ten minutes later, the police had arrived. LAPD detective Leonardo McKenzie investigated the crime. At the scene, he noticed tattoos on Dominguez related to the Laguna Park Viking Street Gang. He also obtained security video from nearby businesses showing the shooting and he recovered bullet casings that were determined to come from the same weapon. Detective McKenzie learned Brabiska was at the hospital. About three to four hours after the shooting, he talked with her in the emergency room. He observed a single gunshot wound to the left leg. Ralph Lopez was eventually arrested and his residence searched, where officers found several items of clothing related to the Indiana Duke Street Gang. In a police interview, Ralph Lopez admitted he was a member of the Indiana Duke Street Gang. He initially denied being at the strip club on the night of the shooting, but eventually admitted he had been there with his cousin and uncle. He then denied knowing anything about the shooting, but later admitted he was involved. He said he had heard Dominguez threaten to kill him or his family. He did not know Dominguez and had never seen him before. He said he was driving with his cousin when Dominguez said, Bitch ass fools. Fearing for his life, Lopez got out of the truck and shot Dominguez in the neck. He then fired five or six shots at the group, standing outside the parked car. He got back to his cousin's truck and went home. He said he got rid of the gun after the shooting. At the interview, he showed Detective McKenzie his gang tattoos. He denied knowing Dominguez was a gang member, denied hearing anyone say, Where you from? and denied announcing his own gang name. The motive for the shooting was the fact that the murder victim, Martin Dominguez, was from the Laguna Park Vikings gang and his killer, Ralph Lopez, was from the rival Indiana Street Dukes gang. Indiana Street Dukes gang member, Ralph Lopez, was convicted of the first degree murder of Martin Dominguez, one count of assault with a firearm and five counts of attempted, willful, deliberate and premeditated murder with gang and firearm enhancements. Ralph Lopez was sentenced to 230 years to life in state prison.